السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Revision Week 9 for Grade 6 First question Which value of the variable is the solution of the equation a plus 5.92 equals 12.29 and he gave me some values for a let us substitute with first value if a equals 5.37 so 5.37 plus 5.92 equals 11.29 this is not equal to 12.29 so it's not a solution not a solution okay if a equals 5.47 it will be 5.47 plus 5.92 equals 11.39 and this also not a solution because it's not equal to 12.29 so it's not a solution if a equals 6.37 so 6.37 plus 5.92 equals 12.29 so the solution okay then the last one a equals 6.27 so 6.27 plus 5.92 equals 12.19 which is not a solution. Why? Because it's not equal to 12.29. So the answer here is 6.37. Next question. Which value is the solution to the equation 42 divided by j equals 6? As we know, which number if you multiply by 6 equal 42? It's 7. So the answer is 7. Number three, Jesse has $29 to spend at the sporting goods store. She buys a t-shirt that costs $15.32. She also wants to buy a soccer ball for $12.87 and a baseball cap for eight dollars thirty nine cents a set of shane guards for fourteen dollars ninety eight cents or a water bottle for five dollars ninety three cents use the equation fifteen dollars thirty two cents plus c equals twenty nine dollars which c where c where C is the item cost? Where C is the item cost? To select the most expensive item she can buy. First step guys, we have to calculate the value of C. Since we have 15.32 plus C equals 29.00. So here we can subtract 15.32 from both sides according to the property subtraction property of equality so now we can write C as 29 minus 15.32 which is 13.68 so which one of these a t-shirt or soccer ball or baseball cap or chink guards or bottle can be bought with this of course most of them but here the most expensive one which is reasonable to be bought is soccer ball next which equation is equivalent to x plus 8 equals 21 
Let us see here he multiplied by 4 but here he didn't make any operation and this is wrong. Here he multiplied by 4 and here he divided by 4. It cannot be because what? According to properties of equality you have to multiply both or divide both. Here he multiplied by 4 and here he multiplied by 2. Also it cannot be. Why? Because you have to multiply by the same quantity. Here he multiplied by 4, he multiplied by 4, if you can notice, and this one is the original one, x plus 8 and 21, so this is the answer. Number 5, you know, 13 plus 7 equals 20, therefore, 13 plus 7 plus 2 equals 20 plus 2. Which property of equality here? Listen, here you have 2 plus 2 plus 2, so it's an addition property of equality. Choose all the equations that are equivalent to 8k equals 20. First one, he subtracted 4 and he added 4 here, so it cannot be. Second one, 8k divided by 4 and here he divided 20 by 4. So it can be. So the answer. 8k times 3 equals 20 times 3. He multiplied both by the same quantity. So this can be. 8k times 5 equals 20 divided by 5. It cannot be. Next question. Use the numbers below to solve the equation. Numbers may be used once, more than once, or not at all. The equation you have x minus 15 equals 67. You have here minus 15. We have to use inverse operations to make x alone. So if you have minus 15, you have to add 15 for both sides. As you know, this addition property of equality. Now, this one and this one will be 0, so x will be alone. And here, 67 plus 15 equals 82. Next question. Solve the equation. 42 equals y plus 15. Here, as we said, we have plus. According to our rules, we can use inverse operations. So we can subtract 15 from both sides. This property of subtraction of equality. So y now equals 42 minus 15. So y equals 27. Next one, solve the equation 5 plus x equals 35. Here we can subtract 5 from both sides. So it will be x equals 35 minus 5 so x equals 30 next one 23 minus x equals 12 at this case we can replace each of 12 and x so we can rewrite this as x equals 23 minus 12 which at this case x equals 11 we can check it if it 23 minus 11 equals 12 or no of course so we are right next one z minus 14 equals 29 here we will add 14 to both sides so it will be z equals 29 plus 14 so z equals 43 next one solve the equation 28 minus n equals 7 at this case we can replace n by 7 so now n equals 28 minus 7 so n equals 21 Guys, notice here at number 12 and also at number 10, we just replaced 
the variable with the other side. Why? If you have the variable after subtraction or after division, you can replace it by the other side. Instead of doing what? We have another answer for this one. It's 28 minus n equals 7. Now we can add n for both sides. Now it's 28 equals 7 plus n. Now we can subtract 7 from both sides. So it will be 28 minus 7 equals n, which exactly we do it at first. Next question, in the equation 8 plus 2k equals 4k plus 4, use substitution to find the value of k. Let us substitute with first one, if k equals 2, it's 8 plus 4 equals 12, and here it's 8 plus 4 equals 12, so it can, it can be, it's the answer. If k equals 3, put it here, so it would be... 8 plus 6 equals 14 and here it will be 12 plus 4 equals 16 it cannot be here k equals 4 put it here it will be 8 plus 8 equals 16 and here it will be 16 plus 4 equals 20 so it cannot be if k equals 5 so it will be 8 plus 2 times 5 equals 18 and here it will be 24 so it cannot be next which statement explains whether w equals 8 is a solution for the equation 5 plus w equals 58 if w equals 8 and 5 plus 8 equals what 13 so this is not a solution so you have here two choices that w equals 8 not a solution but here he wrote 5 plus 8 equals 58 and this is wrong because 5 plus 8 equals 13 so the answer is d next question choose all the equations that have m equals 5 as the solution first one if you put here m equal 5 so it will be 5 minus 1 equals 4 which is answer second 5 plus 4 equals 9 not 20 5 minus 3 equals 2 not 8 and 22 plus 5 equals 27 not 25 so the answer is a thanks guys and best wishes for you all assalamu alaikum